Okay, next we have line, uh, lines from two points, and we're not dealing with um, vertical or horizontal lines at all. We're only going to have uh, lines that are on the diagonal. So what is an equation of the line that passes through the points 2, negative 8, and negative 4, 7? Uh, make sure your answer is fully reduced. Okay, so I'm going to hop over to my sketch pad, and I'm going to make sure I remember my points 2, negative 8, and negative 4, 7. All right, so let's see here. 2, negative 8. 2, negative 8. And negative 4, 7. And I'm going to use my slope formula. Y. 2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I don't know why I wrote a y there. That should say m because I'm finding slope. Um, so when I'm finding slope, I'm going to do 7 minus negative 8 over negative 4 minus 2. Following order of operations, I know that's actually 7 plus 8 over negative 4 minus 2. Um, 7 plus 8, that gives me 15. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. And hey, those both divide by 3. So if I'm going to reduce that, I'm going to end up with 5 over negative 2. Right? So that's my uh, slope. So y equals, well, let's see here. It just asked for an equation. It didn't ask for a form. So I have a point, I have my slope, let's use point slope form. So using point slope form, I could pick either one of these points. I'm just gonna pick the first one. So y minus a negative eight, or we'll use y plus eight, equals five over negative two, x minus two. Um, let's see if delta math will take it. You could have also written it using the other point, y minus seven equals 5 over negative 2, um, x plus 4. Let's see if delta math will take this form. It does say completely simplified, so they may not consider this completely simplified. Let's see here. y plus 8 equals negative 5 halves, arrow over, uh, now I'm forgetting what it was, x minus 2 x minus 2. I'm going to guess that they're going to say that this is not completely simplified. Oh, they took it! Yes! Okay, so slope-intercept form worked. At least for this one, it let me do it, right? But if you if we're reading through our answer key, right, first they're doing the slope, they found the slope, same way we did, and then over here they plugged in a point and solved to find the y-intercept, and so they use slope-intercept form, and they checked it by graphing to make sure that it worked, okay? Um, if you want to do it that way, we could do another problem that way. Uh, negative 3, 3, and negative 6, 2. Let's see here. Let's get a new blank page. So our points are negative 3, 3, and uh, negative 6, 2. And first thing we want to do is find our slope, right, where we're doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, so I'm plugging in. And if it helps, you can come up here and label x1, y1, x2, y2. Right, so I'm going to do 2 minus 3 over negative 6 minus a negative 3. Right? And let's see here, 2 minus 3. That gives me negative 1. 6 minus a negative 3. Well, I know 2 minuses actually make a plus. So negative 6 plus 3 is actually negative 3. Um, and those two negatives divide to make a positive 1 third. So I've got my slope. So if I'm doing slope-intercept form, I have y equals 1 third x plus b. I don't know what my y-intercept is. I'm going to grab one of my points. It doesn't matter which point you grab, so maybe we'll do negative 6, 2. And I'm going to plug in for my y and plug in for my x. And then I'm going to solve to find b, right? So 1 third times negative 6, 
which I know is the same as negative 6 divided by 3, gives me negative 2. Okay, I'm going to add 2 to both sides of my equal sign to solve to find what b is. 2 plus 2 is 4. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And that's my self-check um, along the way. So I have 0 plus b, which is b. And my final answer is going to be y equals 1 third x plus 4. And we can come back over to delta math. Y equals 1 third x plus 4. Let's see if they like it. And they did. Okay, so a couple different ways that you can um, find your equation for your line.